Hello everyone, Pally Tim here. Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Quadra Type 66 Javelina. And man, it looks like a monster. This vehicle can be found way down at the southern tip of the map. You do get a quest to come out here. It does require that you have a street cred of 30. And of course, as you can see, it costs 73,000 eddies to add this to your collection. But today, we're gonna drive it. The call comes in from Dakota Smith. He sends over a message inviting you to purchase this and says, greetings, brother. Would you happen to be looking for a new car? The kind that won't choke on dust every time you go through a turnpike? If the answer is yes, then check the coordinates I attached. I have a Quadra that my brother-in-law tuned up. When I say he's a perfectionist, I mean he checks five times before tightening every screw and polishes every inch of frame until it sparkles. You won't find better quality for your money. The truth is every nomad wants a car like this, but few can afford it. I hope you're tempted by the offer because I would rather sell to someone I know rather than a stranger. Let's give it a once around. Let's give it a look. You can see the suspension system has been like, they cut the hood out to make room for it on one side. I don't see any branding from Quadra on this. However, I think there is a Quadra that is not nomadified, if we can use that term, if that makes sense. Like it comes a bit more stock. This one seems to be a lot more custom. One thing that's really cool here is if you look at the windshield and the side windows, if we get in, they turn transparent on the inside. I believe we can see out, but no one else can see in. According to the wiki, that is Crystal Dome technology making that possible. That's pretty cool. If we take a look at the interior again, the steering wheel inspired by race steering wheels, although it's a square and not a circle, I really like the way the interior is done. It comes with a roll bar. This is an off-road vehicle, so if you flip it over, you want to make sure you're protected. Only two seats in this one, two-door, two-seater. Looks like the passenger would be pretty comfortable. I really like the dash. You know what? That hood up there, and really a lot of the car in general, reminds me of a Corvette. The Corvette Z06s have that raised hood in the center that obstructs a bit of your view when you're looking through the windshield. And well, now that I've said that, Check out this car. It, it kind of looks like a mixture between a Corvette and a Camaro to me. Let me know what you think it looks like down in the comments. I drove over to a nearby road, dude. You gotta hear what this motor sounds like. It's pretty impressive, dude. Sounds like a monster. This is a Mad Max car if I've ever seen one. Something I find interesting in here is like, I'm looking at the dash inside. I can see what time it is, 4.09 PM. I can see what gear I'm in, which is neutral right now, but I'm not seeing anything that actually tells me how fast I'm going. <laughs> this thing might get you into some trouble with some speed limits, dude. Uh, I'm sure you could tell. If you like to drive in first person, a lot of the view is obstructed. Let's check it out in third person. Whoa! Look at those exhausts on the back. Wow, this thing is a monster. <laughs> Just like last time I drove it into town and we are in photo mode right now so we can get a good Look at this car. According to the game's lore, this was made in the new USA, although I don't know what its model year is, I guess because 
it's been altered so much. Maybe they, the jet intake. Do you see that? Maybe because it's been um, uh, augmented so much, they d they don't bother listing the model year for it. Uh, it has reported top speed of 189 miles per hour, which of course we are going to test. And we're going to put it up against the standard car that everyone starts the game with. So you can see just how fast it is. Man, this thing looks cool. Now, I don't know if I could recommend this for anyone who likes to drive in first person uh, because the view is very obstructed to say the least. But if you're a third person driver, I don't know if it gets much better than this, my dudes. I suppose one thing we can talk about really fast is uh, what about the brakes on this thing? Well, just like everything else in this game, it seems like it takes a while to stop. I didn't really go over the brakes in the last car that we took a look at and reviewed, but uh, everything kind of stops like it's on a, re a wet road in this game. All right, so just like the last time you guys know the drill, we're gonna race from this road way out to the east of town that doesn't have anything going on here. We're trying to dodge pedestrians, trying to dodge people who might be swerving into our lane, and we're going to drive as fast as we can, pedal to the metal to that intersection. We're gonna be comparing the time of the Type 66 Javelina to that of the base car. However, before we do that, one thing that uh, I was told about in between videos is that you can open the hood of your cars. I did not realize that. So on the Herrera, on the Outlaw, we were right. The, it was rear-engined and the front is just a trunk. If you wanna see the motor under the hood here, there you go. What's the trunk look like? I imagine that doesn't open. Oh, it extends out. You're not gonna be able to fit many groceries in there. <laughs> All right, let's get up to the line. Okay, pedal to the metal the entire way. In three, two, one, go! team that's gonna do it for today's video thank you so much for watching i do hope that you enjoyed it i'd like to oh it's tight little cape i'd like to invite you to watch our let's play that we're uploading every single day at 9 a.m here on this channel and there's gonna be more car reviews coming up in the future as well i think this is a fun little format hopefully you've enjoyed it oh god unlike this cave this tunnel's not very fun at all Take care. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, goodbye!